I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. I haven't gotten over it in the sense that I can't believe what happened happened. I can't believe it was real. We will march! We will raise our voices! We will raise our voices! The rise of Trump has absolutely energized the left. We march to express our deeply held value that science matters. The resistance is the thing. I divide the world into combatants and civilians. What Donald Trump has done has converted more civilians into combatants. <laughs> We're living in woke nation. You have people showing up at town hall meetings. They look around and they see like-minded people for the first time, and suddenly there's possibilities. November may suddenly become important. I'm not going to believe that any of these outbreaks of resistance will amount to a hill of beans until I see the same people who are carrying signs in these marches show up to vote when really you can affect the lives of people. Otherwise, it's just theater. I'm running to represent the great state of Texas in the U.S. Senate. The question, of course, is who is Beto O'Rourke? Beto O'Rourke was a former member of the El Paso City Council. First of all, just the name Beto O'Rourke. Young guy, handsome, looks like Bobby Kennedy. A congressman from El Paso, a former rock musician, a high-tech entrepreneur, not beholden to the traditional democratic organizational structure. I'm one of two members out of 535 in Congress that takes no corporate money, no PACs. No Democrat is seriously competitive in the absence of a scandal or an asteroid falling on the Republican candidate and killing them. I'm not sure even if an asteroid fell on Ted Cruz and killed him that he wouldn't win that race anyway. He is the foremost advocate for full repeal of Obamacare. Please join me in welcoming U.S. Senator Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is Ted Cruz. He's very, very eloquent, very, very bright. Small government guy, grassroots guy. Tea Party is probably accurate, but it doesn't tell you the whole story. Positioned himself as a strict constructionist on the Constitution. Believed that the best government was the smallest government, the best government was the least activist government. Thank you so very much. God bless the United States of America. Ted Cruz has not succeeded by playing nice or making friends. He succeeded by doing the opposite. Speaker Boehner and Leader McConnell had promised there will be no shutdown, so therefore they will fund every single priority of Barack Obama's. Ted Cruz repeatedly called out his own Republican leader. The Senate's Republican leadership swinging back at Senator Ted Cruz. John Boehner saying that Ted Cruz is, quote, Lucifer in the flesh. The story was that in his first year he could have been murdered on the Senate floor and nobody would have reported it. He is who he is. This is not a state that is receptive to a Democratic candidate for statewide office. In the last senator election, the Democratic opponent to Ted Cruz lost by more than a million votes. How do you hope to address that? Well, we can keep doing things the same way and expect a different outcome. Uh, but I'm not going to leave my family for two years, uh, kill myself in the process, and come up a million votes short. I'm going to work my heart out. I'm going to walk my shoes off. I'm going to be in every one of these 254 counties, making sure that when 2018 comes, we have something to celebrate for Texas and for this country. As much as Congressman O'Rourke is a very talented guy and will make a great race of this, the odds are heavily weighted against his being able to make this happen. What would have to happen for a Democrat to win, do you think? Scandal. The Trump administration would have to so precipitously collapse that the public was in a throw anybody in office out mood. Not exactly at the level of Watergate in 74, but damn close to it. The Republican Party has got an anchor around its neck at the moment. You cannot think that it's going to be anything but a referendum on Trump. We are no longer the silent majority.